Well, I, I do think that if you want to understand Bill Buckley, you have to go back to both his father and mother, uh, to his father, and I think whether this was Bill, but this is sort of a, a paraphrase, that uh, Will Buckley Sr. Uh, loved America, uh, believed in capitalism, and hated communism. And if you look at uh, Bill Buckley, a junior, uh, you will see that that's pretty much uh, where he was for the, for the rest of his life. That uh, his father's experience with the Marxists in Mexico showed that what the communists could do in ter terms of taking over the, uh, uh, a private company uh, without any compensation whatsoever, uh, that the importance of, of, of capitalism, of free enterprise, was obviously key. And that he was, he was a patriot. And I think you can see that when you jump ahead several years, many years for that many, when he wrote a, a book called Gratitude, which is one of my favorite uh, Buckley books, uh, in which he talks about the obligation that we have as Americans to give back to this wonderful country which has given us so much. And I think particularly since Bill knew just how fortunate and blessed he was in terms of wealth and position and education, all those things, that his own particular debt uh, was perhaps larger than others. And I think that's one of the, the motivations for him, why he kept working and writing and speaking as he did for 50, almost almost 60 years, almost without stopping. Oh, sure, he took time off to sail across oceans and to go skiing in Gestadt and to play the harpsichord and all the rest of it. But that did not really define Bill Buckley. I don't think that really he saw that as how, what he really was. What he really was, was a conservative who believed in this, shaped it first intellectually, then contributed to its political development, and as I say, uh, could have chosen uh, to be, uh, could have very well have been the, the playboy of the Western world, given his background, but he chose to be, consciously chose to be, this St. Paul of going about and proselytizing a conservatism throughout his life. It's really an extraordinary accomplishment. And I think that began with his father and his father's beliefs. Then on the other side, his mother imparted to him this Catholic faith of his, this belief in God and in a transcendent being, which gave him a security, gave him a base upon which to live and which to judge. So I think between those two, mother and father, is why he really was, uh, uh, and maybe in that he had no choice, that he really was <laughs> formed as a conservative almost from his birth uh, and carried that out throughout his life. Of course, his, his father was a devout Catholic too, yes. but his father was much quieter about it. It was his mother who, who talked about God all the time, whereas his father was, was much more reticent. And, and yet I do know that there was something, I forget where it was, and I think I do, do quote this, how... Uh, when, when Bill, as a, as a boy, would be sort of going by, I guess they maybe went by the, the bedroom, and he would see his father at night saying his evening prayers on his knees. And that, that can have an impact on, on, a, on, a, on a young boy.